Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this workout I had some snatch doubles, some back squats, some uh, snatch pulls. I think it originally had some things like uh, leg press, but uh, I think I'm doing leg press. So I just went a little bit more aggressive with the snatch pull, or with the snatches and the clean jerks because I was feeling good and I don't know, that was really the main reason. The day after this, um, you'll see in the next video, it was the first like quote unquote like max out day. For me, it's just going to be on Saturdays because that's usually a more consistent day where I'm able to sleep and eat a lot more and there's not the, the random stress of work um, that there could be on a different day. Most times, like this day, you know, work wasn't bad or anything like that, but it's not a uh, consistent factor and I'd rather not have it on a day where the general environment is a little bit more consistent. Uh, as you saw with the other workouts, I've been just going ham <laughs> in these workouts and just pushing super aggressively. Um, with any exercise that I have and this is where the consequ consequences of that have really manifested and you see here just struggling with that first set of 115 or that first double attempt I was able to come back and make this and as I saw at the beginning of the week um, I did 110 for a difficult double and then I was able to do 120 for a difficult double and then here I had the delusion of grandeur of trying to do a 125 double but um, first I missed the 115 for two, so I kind of knew that wasn't in the cards. But I was able to come back and actually make it very difficult, but I was still able to do it. I then went up to this 125 here, the very ugly snatch. And because I was all hyped up, I was like, you know, let's screw it, we'll try to do the second rep. And I ended up parking it, so um, you'll see the video play for a little bit as I was resetting. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been even a true double anyway, just because the amount of time I took in between the reps. It would have been a, an actual cluster. When weights are at this percentage though, I don't really delineate too much between them, but it is a big difference if you kind of go bang bang with a double versus like this, where I'm you know, resetting up essentially. I still don't consider it two singles because, I don't know, it's just you're still in that mode of I'm going to do this lift. But as you see here, I get all hyped up and just pull it to my hip. And, you know, got a little extra snatch pull working, I suppose. With cleaner jerks, they were supposed to be pretty light. Same with these snatches. I think originally it was like 94 or 95 for doubles. Might have been like 100. It was no more than 100 for sure. You see there. Pull it so fast and then don't do it because I knew <laughs> it wouldn't have been a very good attempt. But the cleaner jerks were just 1 plus 1, so nothing creative with those. Um, did 60 here, then went up to 90, 110, 130, and then attempted to do three singles at 140. Obviously much higher than what the program wanted. Um, and I was able to do two uh, singles there. The jerks were really ugly, but I stayed at that 140 because I was trying to make the jerks look better. Um, on the third one, I missed the jerk. And a lot of it's um, something that I'm starting to feel better with jerks is maintaining that front rack. Um, and not letting my elbows dip, so just being stronger with my upper body. And it always looks better when I have lighter weights. The speed of the jerk is a bit faster, my footwork is a little bit better. It's nothing really too different, but it's really that upper upper arms and upper back positioning is a lot more consistent when I'm dipping down. I notice as weights get heavier or more maximal on a particular day that my elbows will dip down and I'll kind of drift forward a little bit. And so I almost have to fight against that, like that 130. That was a really good technical jerk in my opinion. And then this is where things start to break down. So if you just saw that 130, um, you kind of notice how my elbows kind of maintained the position as I dipped down and went up. And then here, I believe my elbows drooped a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit. So it was like I started to press early with that right arm. Like I tried to um, do the jerk early. And then here, try to do it better. And a similar thing happened. And the last one I missed, it was more so just that I was completely cast. That was a slightly better one, I just didn't extend long enough. And, um, there's actually, so the next block, or the next week I should say, of training was unlocked after today's on for this on Sunday. And there's a day where I just have rack jerks, which is really nice. Um, well, it just says jerks, it doesn't matter where, if I do it from blocks or from the, the rack. I'll probably do it from the rack, just because the blocks are a bit cumbersome to set up because then I have to take them down and do other exercises. But um, when I did the AI before, I don't think I ever got just jerks uh, in isolation. The closest was um, push press, because those would always be you know, technically out of the rack. 
because it would just always be just only for press or whatever. Um, but I do have some of those, so I'm looking forward to getting some more practice in the jerk because I need lots of those. So that's a nice little change from before. Um, and because a lot of my numbers haven't really changed, so I think that's just an update in the app. These were some back squat triples, and I actually kind of stuck with what the program said. So it started, um, I want to say the first set was like 154 or something, where it was originally set, and I just did 160. So that was the most aggressive I was. But after I did the triple, you notice they were relatively easy, and I was giving the 5 RIR because I kind of knew I could go up. And then it actually bumped me up to, I believe it was what, 175, and then I put 4 RIR, and it bumped me up to 180. So I actually stuck with those numbers. Uh, for the snatch pulls, it was just three triples. I did the first one at 120, which was actually two kilos under the recommended 122, and then uh, went up to 130 for the second two or for the second and third set of three. Nothing too radical with those, but uh, as you will see with this workout, because of how aggressive I was, uh, I wasn't able to train well the next day. But I was able to have a productive week overall, I think. I guess I can kind of consider the Saturdays the heavy day as like the last day of the week since that's like the cumulation of, um, of all the other training. But yeah, I did have some overhead press that I did. And there's two sets at 70 of 5. Nothing too difficult with those, although for whatever reason I lost my balance slightly on that one and step forward. I'm just weird like that. Um, with presses, sometimes I just have to step forward and I don't know why. Um, but Generally, it was, a, it was a good workout. I shouldn't have pushed this aggressively, and I'll have to keep that in mind with other workouts and potentially have days like this um, that are more similar to the previous one where I had more like no hook and more light technical work and do that more frequently during the week. Because if I just have a snatch or a clean or jerk, I will inevitably go too heavy, and there's always technical things I can do better. Um, as far as uh, the snatch goes, just trying to um, extend better, but getting you know, that finish to be more consistent and with jerks trying to maintain that upper body uh, tightness and positioning so I can be aggressive when I'm pushing up in the jerk but so far so good um, I'm happy with how everything is you know my training hasn't really changed from what I was doing um, on my own too much uh, I just kind of have a general structure and kind of a focus of getting to the week uh, besides all that I had a little fun accident today so this is two days after this workout because this was on Friday so my Saturday workout wasn't impacted by this, but my Sunday one might be. Um, I was trimming the bushes out in front of my yard, and I got my finger because I have to hold the bushes to trim my to trim the kind kinds of uh, bushes that they are because the leaves or whatever are very strong. And I got my finger a little too close. I got two little nice cuts on my fingers. They were pretty pretty deep on my middle finger. Thankfully, the Sunday workout's going to be pretty light, so I don't think it'll be impacted. But it also looks like the skin is kind of healed back into itself, if that makes sense. Uh, but it was very painful and it bled quite a bit, but thankfully um, nothing that I'm going to die from, at least uh, knock on wood that I'm not gonna die from. Because thankfully right after I did it, I just ran in the house and washed and got it to stop bleeding pretty quick. But that's the fun stuff. I don't really ever get hurt at the gym. I get hurt outside of it and then it impacts me there. Uh, but anywho, I've rambled on long enough. I'll talk to you all in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.